Hi everybody and welcome to Exponents Day 1 where we'll be specifically looking at the product of powers property. Okay, before we actually talk about that property, we need to make sure that everybody is on the same page with vocabulary. So, an expression used to represent the product of a repeated multiplication is called a power. A power has a base and an exponent. The base number is the common factor that's being multiplied by itself repeatedly. The exponent of a power indicates how many times the base is used as a factor in the repeated multiplication. Let's make sure that everybody understands the vocabulary that I just discussed. 5 to the third power means 5 times 5 times 5. In this problem, 5 is the base number and 3 is the exponent. Remember the exponent means how many times the base, 5 in this case, will be multiplied by itself. So we multiply the 5 by itself 3 times. If you have not already labeled your notes, please label the top of your notes exponents, the product of powers rule. After you've given yourself that title, please make sure you write the rule that states, when multiplying terms with exponents that have the same bases, add the exponents. We will look specifically at this rule and how it's used through the use of some examples. Please write example 1 into your notebook. This example says a to the fourth power times a to the third power. What that specifically means is we will have a multiplied by itself four times and we'll take that times a multiplied by itself three times. In order to simplify our solution, we will then count up how many a's we are multiplying together. We have 4 from the first term and 3 from the second term, giving us a to the seventh power as our final answer. In our product of powers rule, we wrote down that we should, if we have the same base number, which we do, our base is a, for both terms, we will add the exponents. Notice that our exponent 4 and our exponent 3, when added, will give us our exponent of 7. Since we don't know the value of a, our final answer will simply be a to the 7th power. Okay, please write example 2 into your notebook. This problem says 5 times 5 to the 3rd power times 5 to the 5th power. Whenever we have a whole number that does not have an exponent, it means that that number has an exponent of 1. So in other words, 5 simply means 5 to the 1st power. Sometimes that exponent of 1 will be written in, but most times it won't be written in. We have to know that that's what it means. So our problem really states 5 to the first power times 5 to the third power times 5 to the fifth power. When we have more than two terms, our rule is the same exact rule that we talked about before. All of these have the same base number. Our base number is 5. Okay, so our base number in our answer will stay 5. If we have the same base number with several exponents, we may simply add the exponents and write them all as one exponent. So 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, and our final answer will be 5 to the ninth power. 
For our last example, we've got a lot going on in this problem. The problem reads 2 m to the third power n times 3 m to the eleventh power n to the ninth power. In this first set of parentheses, what that just that set of parentheses means is we're going to take the number 2 times m to the third power times n to the first power. That whole parenthesis is being multiplied times everything in our other parenthesis. So I'm just going to continue writing times 3 times m to the eleventh times n to the seventh. When I'm doing a problem like this, I like to multiply the things together that are alike. In other words, 2 is a whole number. So is 3. I'm going to multiply those two things together right now. 2 times 3 is 6. The next things that I see that are alike are m terms. So I have m to the third and m to the eleventh. My rule states that since those terms both have the same base number m, I can write that base number down and add my exponents. 3 plus 11 is 14. I also see that I have n terms. So I have n to the first times n to the seventh. My base number n stays the same and I add my exponents. 1 plus 7 is 8. So my final answer will be 6 m to the 14th n to the 8th. Alright, good luck on your first day of exponents everyone.